Hi everyone, welcome to Storytime for the Rock and Swim Public Library. Today I'm really excited to read to you the story orchestra, four seasons in one day. This is a very special story with music. Four seasons in one day. In her room, Isabel lies sleeping. When she wakes up, she'll go on an incredible journey with her apple tree and her puppy traveling through four seasons in just one day. Follow her and see spring blossom, feel the summer's heat, gather in the autumn harvest and gasp at the cold of winter. But that's not all. You can hear music for every season too. Press the musical note on each page and listen as Vivaldi's The Four Seasons brings the story to life. Quick, the little girl is stirring. Outside, birds are gathering, singing their hearts out in the morning sun. That they've returned can mean only one thing. Spring is here. After listening to the spring dawn chorus over breakfast, Isabel fetches her apple tree in her bag. Come on, Pickle, she calls to her puppy. Aw, that's a cute name for a dog, Pickle. We have to hurry to get to the spring festival by noon. But as they leave the house, clouds fill the sky. Spring skies are as changeable as the wind and full of sudden showers. Sound like the rain coming? The rain has vanished by the time Isabel and Pickle get to the spring festival at noon. Everywhere they look, there are people smiling, dancing, and laughing under the blue sky and shining sun. The air feels fresh and new and lambs bleat and chicks tweet as everyone gathers to wear spring flowers and plant vegetables. An Easter egg hunt is underway. Come on, Pickle, says Isabel, let's join in. Ooh, that sounds like fun. And there's a little... As the afternoon wears on, it grows hotter and hotter. The strong summer sun beats down on the festival goers, including Isabel and Pickle. The heat tickles their backs, prickles their skin, and breathes down their necks. The only thing they can do is close their eyes. But while they do so, dark clouds appear from nowhere, covering the sun. Too late, Isabel awakens and looks up at the dark sky. The clouds rumble angrily and with a blast of lightning, the sky cracks open. A second later, rain tumbles down. Quick, Pickle shouts, Isabel, run! After a while, the storm fades and a breeze stirs the air. Everyone sighs with relief. It's time to collect in the autumn harvest. There are shiny red apples, crunchy orange carrots, and soft golden hay. Isabel and Pickle help everyone gather food for the winter, picking apples off their own tree. Around them, animals do their own harvesting too.
In the fading light, the air becomes cooler. The leaves turn orange, red, and brown and fall from the trees in huge, dusty piles. Let's jump through them as we walk back, Pickle, cries Isabel. Above them, the birds fly away to warmer lands, and all around, animals prepare for a long, cold winter. Isabel and Pickle aren't far from their house when the snow comes. The winter cold bites into their hands and faces, making them shiver and tingle. They run around to keep warm, then build a handsome snowman with, snows for, with stones for eyes and carrot for a nose. I'm freezing, says Isabel when it's finished. That looks like quite the snowman. Let's see if this sounds like winter to you. The sun's setting, says Isabel. Hurry, Pickle, we've got to get inside before it gets dark. They run along as fast as they can, but Isabel stumbles on an icy bit of path. She trips, slips, and the apple tree falls out of her hands. Rolling, the apple rolls out of her hands, rolls down a hill and into a stream where the pot smashes. Oh my gosh. My poor apple tree, says Isabella. She sits at home safe and sound. I'm so sad I lost it. What's the matter, Pickle? The puppy is scratching at Isabel's pocket. Isabel puts her hand in and finds an apple. You're so clever, she exclaims, because after she has eaten the apple, she is left with a core, which has a few brown, glossy seeds, the perfect seeds to plant for spring so a new apple tree can grow. And that's the end. Well, I hope you enjoyed story time today, everyone. Have a great day. Bye.